it is headed our way. And right now we do want to speak with the chief hurricane specialist at the National Hurricane Center. Good morning, Dr. Michael Brennan. I know you are very busy over there. And uh, overnight, we really haven't seen much change with the models or with the forecast track. Yeah, we, we haven't, Lizette. Uh, the, the main message is still that everybody in South Florida needs to be prepared for a major hurricane landfall uh, in the Keys and on the mainland as we go into uh, early Sunday morning. We're going to see Irma continue moving west-northwestward through the southeastern Bahamas and then uh, skirt the north coast of Cuba and then turn northward. And our forecast track right now has it coming in over the southern port of the, part of the Florida Peninsula early on Sunday and then moving northward. Uh, we are expecting Irma to remain a very dangerous Category 4 hurricane uh, until it reaches uh, South Florida uh, on Sunday. And Dr. Brennan, we're also trying to get the message across to our viewers and all the South Floridians that regardless of whether the eye makes landfall directly over land or remains offshore, the impacts will likely be the same, right? Right, right. The impacts are going to be over a very large area. Now, now, while you mentioned that Irma's overall peak winds had weakened a little bit, the her area of hurricane force winds has gotten larger. They extend out now about 70 miles from the center. So that means that the center could come in 60 miles west of you, and you could still be having hurricane force winds where you are. So, and the tropical storm force winds extend outward over almost 200 miles from the center. So that large wind field is going to affect almost everybody in South Florida, even if the, the center comes up on one side of the peninsula or the other and it's going to move a lot of water around and that's why we have that storm surge warning in place uh, for all the all of the coastline here in Broward, uh, Miami-Dade and uh, the Keys and especially anywhere you see in pink here you're at the risk of life-threatening storm surge from Irma and anybody in those areas should uh, follow any evacuation orders they've been given. Right and since today is the final day of preparation for South Floridians, any final words of advice as to how folks should really be getting ready for this monster of a hurricane and, and what we shouldn't be anticipating? When should the weather start to deteriorate? Well, what we expect tropical storm force winds to begin to arrive in the Keys on Saturday afternoon and into uh, mainland South Florida uh, before 8 p.m. Saturday. So today is really your last full day to prepare to get your shutters up, to uh, get evacuated, to get wherever you're going to ride the storm out. You're going to want to be there uh, sometime tomorrow morning, likely, in all likelihood, because you're not going to want to be out on the roads when the winds start to pick up and when the water starts to rise if you're in a coastal area uh, ahead of Irma's path. So today is really your last day to get ready, and uh, I encourage everybody to do so. The clock is ticking and time is running out. Thank you so much, Dr. Michael Brennan. We appreciate yep. all of your hard work as well as all the meteorologists at the National Hurricane Center. As there's a great concern here for the entire state of Florida, really, we're preparing here for a historic Hurricane Irma. Thank you.